Hey, this is Mr. Wirtz, and today in this video, we will be talking about, let's see, expanded form, word form, base 10 numeral form. Over here on the paper, I have that hence written down. Base 10 numeral are numbers. <laughs> base 10 numeral is just a fancy phrase for numbers. Here's an example of what we're talking about. We're going to write that down as word form because we hear it as words. We see it sometimes as words. But when I see that four, I'm going to put a four over there to get us started. We'll finish that in a little bit. And then expanded form is the parts added together. That's what expanded means. And we do the expanded form to help us understand what does this big number actually mean? The expanded form breaks the big number into parts. For example, I'm going to start with the expanded form first. I see that there's a four here, but it's not just four. That is, wow, 400,000. So I'm going to write 400,000. That's what the four means. Then I'm going to write down what the six means. So I have that the four means 400,000. Now I'm going to write down that the six means not just six. <laughs> if, someone, if someone owed me $463,812, they said, well, here's $6 for you. No, that's far away from what they owe me. That's a lot of money, by the way. <laughs> that would be six sixty. Thousand, And you notice how we have a fewer amount of zeros in this place. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. And we're going to get fewer and fewer zeros. Now we do the three. I'm going to put it down below here. This time I'm doing one, two, three, four. This time I'm doing three zeros to show that we are in the thousands. Three thousand. Now I'm doing the eight. And I'm going to have eight hundreds, 800. And then I have the one right here. And a lot of you recognize that the one is in the tens place. Oh, and this is interesting. If there was a zero right here, let's pretend there was a zero right here. Then I would have zero tens plus two more ones. But I don't have a zero there. I actually have a one there. So I'm going to put a 10 right there. That was a hint to help you with other problems. There will be other problems where there may be a zero in the place. So you have to keep that in mind and not get tricked. So these are the parts. 400,000, 400,000, 60,000, 60,000, 3,000, 3,000, 800, 800. And remember, I said if this was zero right here, I would have zero tens, but I actually have one ten and two ones. So make sure you show it as one ten and two ones. Now you heard me say the numbers, so let's write the numbers. 463,000. Anytime I see a comma, I'm going to stop and write. That's a hint you can use. 463. 3,000, 463, 60 hyphen 3. Whenever you say a number like that, 63, 28, 91, you have a hyphen, 63, 463,000. And I said that word 1,000, I'm going to write that word 1,000. And then after the 3,000, I have a comma. After the 3,000, I have a comma. And then 812, I'm going to write it down as the word 800. You heard me say 800. I did not say 812. So I can't write 812. That would be wrong. I did not say 812. I said 812. So I write 812. Write what you say. Write what is over here. Write what is over here. Make sure all three of these things match up. 
463,000. 463,000. I said the word thousand, comma, so I write the word thousand after, with a comma. Also, I have 400,000, so I write 400,000. I have 110, so I have 110. I have two ones, so I write two ones. So over here, we see the parts that are added together to make this big base 10 numeral the official word. And this big base 10 numeral, the way we say it is the way we write it, just like that. So that is an example of this problem right here. You can pause the video and just type in this answer right here. Use that help as you work ahead. For example, this problem right here, it says one million. Well, I'm gonna type in one comma million, then it says 24,000. So I type in 24,000. Oh, check it out. If I did it like that, that doesn't make sense as a number. So it's 24,000. I notice that I don't have any hundred thousands. So I do a zero hundred thousand with a 24,000 after it, comma, 350. Oh, this is an example of a zero again. 350. I can't just do it like that because that looks like 35. It's 350. So that will be my answer right there. And then I type it in over here as one, oh, big one, million, comma, plus 20. Thousand plus ooh, wrong symbol four thousand and keep going like that. So you have a head start on a few of these problems. You also have hints about how to do this. Whenever you have a comma, say it and start writing it. Hyphenate words like 63, 28, 95. Break it up into parts. This was 110, so I put a 10. So work on this problem. Use my help. Let me know if you want more help with this or any other problems. Until then, good luck.